Hi, welcome to the Medication Centre. My name is Pete Jones and I'm here today to show you and to explain to you how to build a moving bridge. Okay, so here we're going to look at part one. Part one is where we assemble and put together the A-frame. The A-frames are built very much the same. As you notice, there's a slight difference with uh, we've added one extra brace uh, here. Um, just to give a little bit more st stability with the structure. So, we're going to be looking at, first of all, putting the bottom pieces in. And again, we're just going to clip these in place. Here I've got uh, two simple bricks. Some of you might have a flashing light or might have something very similar. Either way, it just makes it look pretty on the top. So again, these are just going to clip in, into position. And our infield structure, the bottoms and the tops, will all click into place nice and easy. With that, you'll see the structure is quite solid, even though uh, there are a few pins uh, and it's not really, you know, you, you, you're, you're, we're not using too many pieces of Lego, but yet the structure is quite solid because it's an A3 structure. Step two, we look at putting some axles in place, um, and we also look at fitting the drawbridge in place as well. So before we can do that, we need to put a few axles in. But we're going to secure the end of our axles by using just um, these little uh, yellow uh, little holders. Just going to slide those through. Um, then this is going to slide up through. We're going to be securing our pin. Now as you can see, the bridge is in a secure position and it won't fall down. We need to fit one more axle which will be in place. This will be for um, the cog to fit on. I'll just position this in the right location. Okay, this is now step three. This will be uh, making it work, should we say. So I'm just gonna secure, pick it up where I left off, within uh, the end of step two, by securing the axle in place. I'm just bump, this can't come out. It's nice and secure. Um, I'm gonna spin this around just so you can see exactly how it's all coming together. So um, I have my axles in place. You'll notice here, I've got a, um, a little tiny lock, really, that I fitted. You'll understand how this is going to work in a minute. But let me just fit the cog. This is uh, this cog has got approximately 40 teeth on it. It's a fairly large cog, um, but this is going to be put onto the axle. Hopefully, this is going to make our drawbridge go up and down. So with this in place, we're also going to use a smaller cog. Again, that's got approximately eight teeth on that. It's quite hard to see, but you'll see. I'm just going to fit this next to it, slide the two together, and. I'm just going to put a little tiny, I'm going to use this as a, as a handle. Um, hopefully, if I turn this, you should start to see the drawbridge going up. And you'll see the locking pin has been moving. Every time I turn it, the locking pin is moving to, a next, to the next uh, tuff. The reason being is this has actually been held in position. The bridge has been held in position through this uh, locking mechanism. Now if you watch, if I, if I press it, the bridge will fall down. As you can see, the drawbridge is opening and closing with our handle. It's using the cogs to make it work. And we've got our locking pin, our locking mechanism to hold it in place. I hope that you can build one just like it yourself in your home. Thanks for watching.